Yes. Is anybody gonna answer me? <laughs> what? <laughs> Did you finish your yogurt? You want cereal now? With milk or without? Yes, what? You want milk in it or no? All right, getting back up. Hi guys, happy first episode of Vlogmas. Uh, a part of me can't believe it's Vlogmas time again and that we're like doing this all over again. But also, I haven't vlogged in like three months, so I feel <laughs> a little awkward. So bear with me, because I gotta remember what I'm doing and try to figure out how it is that I'm supposed to do this. Also, undoubtedly, you're gonna hear my kids in the back of this video because they are wildin' today. They are wildin'. They woke up crazy, and they're probably just gonna be crazy all day. And even now, they're like at the age where like, if one is not super crazy, but the other one's super crazy, like they just kind of start matching each other's energy, and everybody gets crazy. It's wild. <laughs> so it is the first weekend after Thanksgiving. That's when I like to start Vlogmas so that we get the most of it. Um, and normally I do start like Friday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I'm starting on Saturday today, just because yesterday was the day after Thanksgiving. We hosted 10 adults, eight kids, but one of the kids was a two month old baby, our new nephew. So I don't know if I should really count him because he was no trouble at all. It's just a sweet little angel. Yesterday, we were really tired. <laughs> I had a insane migraine. I like, I, my vision was blurred because of it. It was probably the worst one I've had in a very, very long time. So I just rested. Mike did a little bit of cleaning and some resting. Um, he actually had to work last night. Mike is working nights now. It's been so long since we've talked. You have no idea what's going on with us. <laughs> but um, Mike switched to nights, not because we wanted to. Yeah, he had to. It was out of unfortunately necessity at his job um, right now and so we're hoping it's temporary because the schedule just it sucks it's just I feel like we don't really ever get enough quality time with him and like vice versa so um, I don't love it <laughs> he doesn't love it and we're hoping that it's you know gonna change soon we just don't know when so for now we're just grinning and bearing he came home this morning um, probably around 8 and so he's sleeping on the couch right now. I'm trying to keep the kids away from him, keep them busy so that he can get rest. Um, he was gonna take the Christmas decorations out of the attic for me because I wanna start decorating today. It is the weekend to get all that stuff up so we can enjoy all of the pretty festive decor. I've been wanting to put it up for weeks now, but because we host Thanksgiving, I have to wait. So now I'm like, I'm ready to go, but I don't wanna wake him. So I'm probably gonna pull it out of the attic. Let's hope I don't hurt myself. But yeah, that's the plan. That's the plan for today. Get everything decorated, or at least mostly decorated, and then finish up tomorrow. Um, we have a child's birthday party today. Our nephew. What, baby? They see a coin. Oh, a coin? Yeah, they see a, a, a pirate coin. I don't see one in here, no. But they hear one? I don't hear anything either. They're also coming into like this point together where they are like very into imaginative play, and I love it. But anyway, I digress. We have a birthday party today, this afternoon at like 2.30. Um, it's our nephew's birthday, so we're gonna do that. The kids are very excited. Also need to work like a Target trip in there because we are running very low on wipes, like dangerously low on wipes. Um, and also I wanna pick up some like storage baskets for the playroom because the kids stuff is everywhere. It's so bad, the storage has gotten so bad in there lately. And we just, we gotta come up with a better solution for that room. Hopefully I don't find any more Christmas decor that I like because 
I feel like we already have enough. I already bought some this year. I bought some last year. We're probably good, but you know how, you know how, yeah. Yes. Mommy put all kinds of things in here last year. Okay. Wreaths, garland. Are you me on the railings? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I do put it on the railings. You do? I do. Because you make it a pretty house? I make it a pretty house, yes. And then you put the waste on, on the top of the house? I don't do that part. That's daddy thing. Yeah. Mommy makes the inside of the house pretty. Yeah. Oh, careful. Oh, oh. Wow! You're so mommy. Yeah. One more, huh? No. No more pumpkins. No pumpkins are like, oh, you can fall on top of it. Mm-hmm. And then, it's the other one up there. Not me. Oh my goodness, Josiah. <laughs> I'm strong. You are strong, holy moly. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know where we're going to put him. We have to find him a home. Maybe right here. Maybe. We'll see. Playroom tree up. I don't know why. Oh, the trees are so flat at the top this year. We got to do a lot of zhuzhing. I think my least favorite part about the faux trees is just like how much like branch bending you have to do <laughs> every year. Because if you're like type A, it takes you a minute. Like that... That spot, that's gonna bother me. But like the playroom, we just need, we need like another, like how we have this six one here. I need to put like a four one here. Um, We need better baskets. These are all like flimsy and now that the kids are bigger and they play a little bit more rough. The baskets have been trampled. They've been a mess. They don't hold enough. I need to get shelves for the books. I'll just put them like here, I guess, because we need more space for the toys and the puzzles. If anybody knows of it, like an effective way to store puzzles and like the little pieces that go with them so you don't lose them, they're too big to fit in like a gallon Ziploc bag. Like maybe some of them could, but a lot of them are too big and you can't stand them upright because then all the puzzle pieces fall out of them. And then the kids play with the, they get, everything just gets lost. We have so many puzzles that are missing like one, two pieces and it's just really annoying. And the kids love puzzles. They play with them all the time. They just need like an effective way to store them. But anyway, the playroom is a disaster and that's, that and Ariella's room are like my next projects for the house. I'm in our sunroom right now, which is really just kind of like the, uh, the decor storage for the moment. <laughs> We've got all these Christmas bags. This is a whole bag full of like tree picks. For different trees because we have we have four trees this year we have the one in my office the living room the playroom and then our bedroom tree which we probably won't go up today because we want to do like a really good deep clean of our bedroom before we do that and I, we're not gonna have time for that today but anyway we got a bunch of stuff i even bought i even went crazy this year i bought a christmas shower curtain I can't wait to Christmify the bathroom. I don't know that like, this might be the only piece of decor we have for the bathroom. I gotta get like a bath mat, maybe like a Christmas bath mat at Target when we're there today. Remind me that I want that. My favorite find this year for Christmas, unfortunately I was only able to get two, you know how home goods is. Um, these little nutcracker wine glasses, how cute. So unfortunately I would, I would love a set of four and if I'm ever in a Marshalls and I see two more, I will grab them, um, but yeah. For now, we just have one for me and one for Mike. We have a little bit of a mishap here. Oh, I was taking the pumpkins off of our little shelves here and I, I don't know what happened. There's not a lot of room here for like things to sit. And so I, the pumpkin wasn't even against that picture frame. It just, when I turned around, it just fell off the shelf and shattered. And I'm really sad because I actually really, really love this picture frame. So I never even got around to putting a picture in it. <laughs> I just had it up there right now. It's dead, so gotta clean that up. Hopefully that's not a sign of things to come for the day. Okay, we just pulled up to Target. Um, I was gonna start decorating, but I don't wanna decorate the kids' tree without the kids and they're napping. And Mike and I already agreed that we would decorate the living room tree together like later on tonight. All that leaves is like all the other like knickknacks and stuff that we put out and like the stuff we put on the walls, but I need command hooks and command tape for that. So I'm gonna pick that up. Um, and I might as well just pick up the other things that I need while I'm here. And then once we finish with the party, because I've gotten this errand out of the way, we can just, you know, decorate. 
Also, I do the kickoff Christmas baskets for the kids. And um, I have mostly everything I need for them, but I wanted to pick up just like a little toy for each of them to put in theirs, and I didn't do that already. So gotta grab that while we're here so we're ready for the Christmas kickoff baskets in the morning. <laughs> We're here and we're ready to party. Ari and I have on matching Air Forces. Jojo looks adorable, he's got matching vests. What's, what's wrong, Mumu? Why don't you want to go? Why don't you want to go? You've been to these before. You know what to do. Wipeout? Total wipeout. Total wipeout. Yeah, babe. That was awesome. We're back home now. That was fun, but a little bit chaotic. The kids were good in the beginning. When it's time to like play and jump, they're like, they're good with that. And then when it was time to like sit and eat, that part is always chaos. Whenever I bring the kids to birthday parties, like it's just, cause nobody wants to eat. And normally I try to feed them before these things so I'm not dependent on them eating like a meal at the party because I know it's kind of hard to get them to focus. But today there was no time because by the time they went down for naps and when they woke up, we had to go. So it was a little bit crazy, um, but both kids did end up eating. Now that we're home, Josiah really wants to decorate his Christmas trees. I had originally planned to do their tree in the morning, um, but he wants to do it now. So we could do it now. Honestly, as much as we can get done today is probably better because tomorrow is um, Mike's dad's uh, birthday um, and we're going out to dinner with the family, but then everybody's coming here afterwards for cake and Mike's mom asked me to do um, like a balloon garland. I, I do one over like the, the entryway to the dining room over there. So I have to do that tomorrow and that can be a little time consuming in and of itself. So I want to get as much decorating done today so I don't have to worry about that tomorrow. <laughs> You'll clean it. Thank you. What a big help you are. <laughs> My sweetest girl. Where is Sharshi? Yeah. I don't know. I haven't seen her since I walked in. Now she's gone. No, she's in the house somewhere.
tree is done. It's a little bit of a hodgepodge, but that's why it's their tree. Um, I have the skirt in the <laughs> washing machine. Um, and yeah, I probably need a new bow for up top though, because this one got super crinkled and I can't seem to straighten it out and it kind of looks a mess, but yeah, you know, it's cute. It's a playroom tree. It is what it is. This is probably the last year for these things because they're so nice in theory, but I just can't, I can't get them to work right. <laughs> like they just fall too deep into the tree and then it looks kind of stupid. But these are the picks I got this year for the tree and I like them, but I definitely should have gotten more. I only grabbed four, it looks like. Um, I definitely could have used some more throughout. So um, note to self next year, grab more tree picks for this tree. And then like, we just have some decor here. Like I got this this year from Hobby Lobby with these cause it reminded me of Jojo and Ari. This is a mess though, so this all needs to be cleaned. I just wanted to get it out and like put it where it was supposed to go. And then this is their little Christmas gnome, their little thing. Here we have their little countdown to Christmas and then the Christmas rules. It turns out I did buy more. They're different ones, but I did buy a bunch of these little ones. So I'm gonna add those. I also grabbed this and I forgot. I was going through some of my stuff that I had just bought and I realized I bought that. And then I bought this Santa garland. I don't know where I'm going to put this. Maybe I'll hang it up there, like across the pictures, or um, I have a hook up there already, and maybe I'll add another one here. There was one here, but it fell off. And then I'll just hang it and drape it over the walkway here. I don't know. We've got options. Or I could hang it, like, over the window. That'd be kind of cute. The kids are finally down for bed, and I am grateful because it was... It was a lot. <laughs> Decorating the tree was a, it was a little bit much. I think they probably would have done better with it had we done it tomorrow morning like I had intended. They were just like way too like, they were both amped up but also tired from the day's activities and like being at the trampoline place. And so Ari was definitely a little overtired and was like crying a lot and fussing a lot. And Josiah just had like a ton of energy that we could not harness and get him to like focus properly they kept breaking ornaments and stuff so i'm glad that's over it's nice to make the memories but at the same time it can be a little bit difficult so if you're struggling with that with your own kids it, it happens it's fine. decorated i don't really know how much more i could do. i mean i have to put the thing on the top but i don't know how much more i can really do you know like it's pretty i don't want it to be like too chaotic and crowded but these little brown paint setas um were a new addition this year we had these last year we added more of them this year um we added these large green ones. There's like variety, there's matte, and then there's like a metallic, and then there's a glitter. But otherwise, last year, the color theme was the same. It's like the browns and greens um, and creams and then metallics. So I think it's pretty. I mean, she's not lit up. And then where's the topper for that? I think this is, this is the topper for that tree. But we're taking a break right now to eat sushi. Very excited, very hungry.
This is hot, Ari. You have to let it cool. Good morning, guys. It has been a wild ride of a morning. I tried to film this exact intro to the day like seven times. So the house is a mess and we have to clean. Mike is still sleeping. Um, and working this night shift has really gotten him messed up. He really only has like a day really home with like a full day home with family, the way his schedule works. Um, and he's just not a he's accustomed to being up at night now so it's like harder for him to like fall asleep and stay asleep at night and so then in the morning he's tired and that's when he wants to sleep and so i'm letting him sleep but i also know that he's gonna want to <laughs> be up and be with his family so i don't know it's a tricky balance of course you do <laughs> yeah this dinner for my father-in-law is at four tonight and so obviously i have to have Mama, all of this done awesome. put away and the balloon garland made with enough time to get myself and the kids ready While the kids are playing with Play-Doh, I assembled their Christmas cake off baskets. This year we have our books, which we always do. Um, I did a candy, I did the Reese's candy canes this year. I did a festive plate and um, cup for at home. They have Christmas cups from last year that are the, like their to-go cups when we're doing our Christmas activities. Um, so this year I got them cups for at the house. And then we did matching pajamas. Mike and I have the same matching one. So it's like a family set. I found these reindeer um, slippers at Target. So I picked them each up a pair. And then for the toys, I went with these mini Etch-a-Sketches and these little um, kinetic sand like dino sets um, where they can excavate their own dinosaurs because they're really into kinetic sand and um dinosaurs and things like that so i figured they would like that and it was inexpensive didn't want to get too big of a toy because like they're gonna get tons of stuff for christmas so just something little to play with um and now i have to try to sneak these outside the front door and um make them think that elves dropped them off <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> Guys, did you hear that? Yeah. Somebody knocked at the door. Who is that? Why the door so first? What is that? The elves came. The elves came? Yeah. They dropped off the Christmas kickoff baskets. Yay! Yay! Come on. Oh, Ari, you got candies? Yes. Yeah. 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 Open it. Open it. Not right now. We're not gonna have any. You had some stuff already today. I'm gonna open it. Come over here. Oh, look! You wanna wear a cute Santa hat? Yeah. Come. Let me see you. Let me see. Let me see you. Oh, oh yeah, it's a book. Oh, we could read that before nap. I have promised myself so many times that I will never do this again. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's such a pain. I'm I blew. I think I blew up enough balloons. We'll see. Um, I'm just now in the process of filling in my little strand here that holds them and makes them garland i don't do like the fancy like balloon twists i know there's like clusters and twists and all i don't know how to do them i just know how to blow up the balloons and stick them on here so and then i fill in like little spaces with balloon tape and like the smaller balloons 
and that's how I make it look nice. Um, so yeah, I don't get super fancy with it because I don't know how to. Okay, so the balloon garland is done. It was a little bit of a pain in the butt, but she's done. <laughs> we had little balloons towards the end, so the bottom trails off. Oh, it's so funny. But it's pretty. It looks good with everything. It was absolutely a mad dash to get everybody showered because the kids needed baths tomorrow is school and everything and i figure it was going to be late with company here so i didn't want to deal with it later so we did baths got everybody ready i showered got myself ready mike had to get ready it's a mess but we are ready to leave now mike's getting the kids in the car so i should go It's now Monday. I did a terrible job vlogging yesterday. Um, after I made that balloon arch, we left for dinner. It, dinner was chaotic. The kids were not in the bus mood. So that was touchy. And then everybody came back to our house for coffee and cake. But that was also chaotic because there was how many kids? Four, five kids were running around playing. And so it was just a lot. And I, I just tapped out after that. So you get a bonus day, which is funny because I normally do Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and I didn't do Friday. So now I'm doing Saturday, Sunday, Monday. And we're outside Starbucks and we're going to get the first, our first holiday drinks of the season. Yeah. What do you think you're going to do? I know what I'm going to do. What are you going to do? A peppermint mocha latte. What other holiday drinks? I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. Sometimes you change it. That's just a classic. Hmm. But the drive through line is way too long. So we're just going to pop in. like overwhelmed by absolutely everything <laughs> in life because I'm there right now I'm like there's too much going on I just have like a bunch of stuff for work where I'm like waiting on other people waiting on other people and like you know then everybody finishes what they need to do and it's like all on the same day and then everything's back on my deck and then because they took so long I have less time to do my part it's always just like chaos but anyway Mike is being a doll and he's cleaning the bedroom but that means that I, there's now like a ton of laundry that has to be done and we're out of laundry detergent basically I've got enough to do like two more loads but this is definitely more than two loads of laundry I'm done working for the day um and I just picked up my order from Target it was chaos I, I did drive up pickup and the parking lot was a madhouse and I had to wait longer than I typically have to wait. Um, so now I'm at PetSmart. I'm just gonna grab the dog's food and then I have to stop somewhere for milk and then I can pick up my children. <laughs> I got their food, but do they need Christmas outfits? I'm like how cute would Char Char be with little reindeer ears? Stop it. For your children, I would've absolutely bought my dog's holiday outfits. <laughs> But now that I have kids, I have less disposable income, so, yeah. Also, someone talked me out of this, but I'm, like, tempted to get my kids a goldfish. Here's a fun fact, though. I'm actually scared of fish, like that one. 
too big. I would cry if I had to. Those are too big too, actually, now that I'm looking at them. They'd have to be little. <laughs> Ari, you said that you would eat the leftover from the bocce. What? Please, can we have this? You asked for broccoli. I put broccoli in it. You cannot have pickles with your yogurt for dinner. That you're gonna get a belly ache. That's what? No, that's nasty. No, I like it. You do not like that. Yes, I did. Josiah, that's nasty. No, not in this house. Absolutely not. Not in this God-fearing house. No. You want this? Or you want yogurt? Yes. Is this too hot? To blow on it. You blow on it. You blow on it into your food. You are fresh as the wind, Josiah Jude. You made this? Cute. I like it. I did his own for his mommy. Luca made one for his mommy? That's nice. Oh, sorry, buddy. All right, mommy's got lots of papers for school I gotta go through because you haven't been there in so long. Uh, uh, noodles. You want noodles now? No. All right, if I, I have more. If I heat it up, you promise you're gonna eat it. Careful with the tree behind you, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, hold on. Oh, all right, get it, get it, get it. Good job. 